If you always watch our channel, you may know that the news of the US ban on Chinese EUV technology and telecommunications giant Huawei. A lithography machine is a very complex semiconductor device. If it is a top EUV lithography machine, it will use 100,000 parts and components involving more than 5,000 suppliers around the world. Therefore, lithography machines cannot be independently manufactured by a company or a country or region, but are the result of globalization. But no matter how difficult the technology is, it has been accumulated bit by bit. With the continuous efforts of Chinese manufacturers and scientific research institutions, Huawei has broken through a key technology of EUV lithography machine. I'm afraid ASML should worry. Countries around the world are stepping up the layout of the chip manufacturing industry. The United States has provided 52 billion US dollars in subsidies. The European Union has also formulated a chip subsidy plan of 43 billion euros, and China has set a 70% chip self-sufficiency target. To occupy a place in the chip manufacturing industry, lithography equipment is indispensable. ASML is a major supplier of lithography machines and has close contacts with domestic customers but this company is restricted by U.S. rules and cannot freely ship top EUV lithography machines to China. The road of import does not work, and we can only rely on self-research. The question is how difficult is it to make a top-level lithography machine? In fact, the difficulty is very high because it requires highly sophisticated technology and materials for transferring chip design patterns to silicon wafers. Top-level lithography machines need to have the characteristics of high resolution, high precision, and high speed, and be able to perform precise characterization on an extremely small scale. In addition, the manufacture of lithography machines needs to master technologies in various fields, such as optics, mechanics, electronics, etc., and requires a lot of research and development and manufacturing costs. Apart from other things, the four major components of the lithography machine are enough to consume decades of research and development. These four parts are optical system, objective lens system, control system and workbench. Although the research and development of lithography machines is very difficult, ASML is still worried that China will accelerate the development of domestic lithography machines under the circumstances of export restrictions in Europe and the United States, and bluntly stated that the rules of physics are also valid in China. ASML is worried that China will one day make technological breakthroughs and replace ASML's lithography machine market share. Facts have proved that Chinese companies are already accelerating their deployment, such as Huawei breaking through a key technology for EUV lithography machines. This is a technical patent named Reflector, lithography device and its control method. Not only Huawei, but there are also many technological breakthroughs in the field of EUV lithography machines in China, including the successful launch of OPC software by Huazhong University of Science and Technology, the ice-breaking laser interferometer of Harbin Institute of Technology, and the breakthrough of EUV light source engineering prototypes by Changchun Institute of Optics and Mechanics. Perhaps these breakthroughs cannot yet constitute the overall EUV lithography equipment, but with the accumulation of bit by bit, it is possible to achieve solid accumulation in the future. 
I am afraid that ASML should be in a hurry. As ASML foresees, China is accelerating the research and development of domestic lithography machines, and sooner or later, it will embark on the road of substitution. Shanghai Microelectronics is the only complete machine lithography machine manufacturer in China, which can realize the mass production of 90 nanometers lithography machines and it is believed that it is also researching more advanced process technology. Now that a lot of progress has been unveiled, does it mean that China chip has won? Perhaps it is still necessary to maintain an objective and rational attitude. Before reaching the final step, one cannot make premature conclusions nor can one easily deny existing scientific research results. At least for now, what is certain is that China will not stop there and will make greater progress in the future. The United States continues to expand the scope of restrictions, and the Netherlands and Japan have reached an agreement to implement export controls on DUV lithography machines, and dozens of semiconductor equipment. Independent research and development seems to be urgent. How should domestic lithography machines deal with it? First, invest more funds and human resources to speed up the research and development of independent technologies. China has made some progress in the field of lithography machines but it still needs to further improve its technical level to achieve independent control. Second, strengthen cooperation with leading international companies. China can cooperate with lithography machine companies in other countries to jointly develop high-end lithography machines and strengthen cooperation in technological innovation and market development. In addition, reduce the dependence on imported lithography machines. China can encourage local companies to strengthen the research and development and production of lithography machines, reduce their dependence on imported lithography machines, and improve their independent innovation capabilities. In addition to these, China can protect independently developed technological achievements and prevent technology theft or infringement by strengthening intellectual property protection. With a solid knowledge protection system, more manufacturers can be guided to participate in the research. On the whole, China needs to use various methods to deal with the situation that ASML is restricted by the United States and cannot sell EUV lithography machines to China, so as to achieve independent control, improve the technical level, and promote industrial upgrading. Although ASML is actively shipping to the Chinese market, it can only sell old equipment. If it has been relying on imports, it will be difficult to enter the high-end lithography machine industry. Fortunately, manufacturers like Huawei have overcome difficulties and made breakthroughs in one key technology of EUV lithography machine after another. When a complete system is finally formed, I believe everything will come naturally.